Tierra del Fuego, La Batalla. My name is Iva, from Amonkar, Guardian of the Seeds. Seven you must carry, whose petals are the tangents of time, space, and the being. In seven spaces and in seven times, you will find the seven beings that guard the destiny of the seeds. I hand them over to you, and when you hand them over to them, tell them that it was me who gave them to you. They will make them bloom. And when they have bloomed, bring them to the south, then you will know that a new humanity has begun. Santa Cruz Glaciar Perito Moreno Irrigate the delivered seeds with our waters for in their frozen bodies you can find the six-pointed flowers library of the territory find them the codes of weakness where those who dwell on the surface have failed and where they will possibly fail. Observe and correct, inside as well as outside, the distortions of his divine error which leads you to evolution. Drink our blue water, dare to go through fears, Dare to go through the mistakes of what they will have to build. Chubut, los alerces. Look at yourselves in the reflection of the water. Submerge yourselves in the other dimension. Welcome to the Hall of Mirrors. From here, you will be able to see all the options and the infinite reflections of all realities. From your green heart, recognize that all existing options are your own reflections and only those that you dare to look in the eye will become real. Take the power and the strength that your heartbeat nourishes, carry it within you and reflect it upon those who observe you. Río Negro, Lago Nahuel Huapi. Inside this region dwell the custodians of the network of control. Not only of the control that systems and governments exercise over society, but also over the control which it is easier to escape the one which lies in each cell dominating you. The golden city reminds you that you must shine and that the only way to escape control is to lose it. For all control that subjects you 
is the control you need. Allow yourself to lose control over who you are and what you do, and only then will you be free. Neuquén, Lagua Luminé. The light radiates in our inner being as well as within each one of you. But you must not forget that said brightness is nothing more than a reflection of an only light. The lighthouse that looks in all directions only has a single axis and pillar. And that is where everyone will have to look. When you enter the Hall of Time, shine your own light and find in the reflection of all the one original light. She will allow you to create. It will show you the way through the reflections. Those who within them resonate, I am, empowerment. And in our land, Resonate, Neo Quen, fortitude. And among its waters, the lighthouse illuminates the creation and gestation of the plans of what is to come. Thus, carry this seed of light so it may guide you towards the only destiny. And when all your lights shine as one, the lighthouse of Illuminaire will ignite the strength of the being in Negren in order to awaken the I Am and guide the new humanity that must be seated in this new time and space. Mendoza Cerro Aconcagua Have you forgotten my name? Observa el guardián My name is Intaka Mi nombre es Voice of those who dwell in the inner Andean valley que moran en el interior del Valle Andino you have come to look for the map of the plan. And so you must know that the map is a seed. And the fruit you hope to obtain only exists for the sole purpose of protecting it. Thus, if you seek to get the fruit, you will only find resistance. So go beyond the fruit and recognize that the seed is surrounded by a deep darkness that also protects it. Cross it and you will see it. This is the map you must carry and you will unfold its plan in two, two, four. You will have to enter the cube and truncate its reflections in order to set it from within. Smile when you see it. Draw said attraction with joy and you will see. The unconscious network will help you for in it hides the potential that guards the royal light. Paradox of existence. Ask the architect, and he will show you where. Ask the doctor, and he will tell you how. You can go now and smile, for I have called you and everything will be okay. Smile. The cold is just an illusion.
San Juan, Parque Chihualasto. Open the seeds that have been given to you. Watch them grow and expand. The tree of all species expands before you, clarifying the purpose of each one here in existence. Each species opened its eye for the first time, registering what it was inside on the outside, projecting the void and plenitude to the external world. In the tree lies the information of the steps that everyone has taken, and thus also their frustrations. Everything that you have not managed to transcend has been manifested in each step of each being. The tree can be replanted, but you must look at it. Each species opened its eyes. Look at them. In them are the mirrors of time, which shape space. They have seen it, the great destruction, and you will remind them that that destruction was only the beginning of a new creation. Overcome the trauma. La Rioja, Cañón del Talampaya. An inner sun radiates within, mirror of those who dare to observe themselves without fear, face fear and frustration so that you can observe yourself as real. In its reflection you will see what you dare not to see, that those who allow themselves to be observed by others are observed by themselves in many directions. An avatar, a living reflection projected by the search for the one turned into many. When you discover the true nature of being an avatar, the avatar itself will cease to exist outside in order to be inside. The sphere surrounds it, and thousands of eyes observe themselves projected in what they see. Let them see you, thus seeing yourself. Without fear or frustration, you must let them observe. Just be the avatar that they must be. Expand yourself and the one will expand. Catamarca, Pumice Stone Field. Open the gates of the desert and observe its hidden truth. Life emerges from the depths, from being a worm in the dirt to opening its wings to the heavens. Observe the fibers that make up its wings, breathe in them, vibrate in their being, let their buzz open the paths. The beetle is a symbol of the highest faith code between both worlds, insignia of the first to build the network. Do not forget your wings, for they are traveled paths that must return. 
I have given you all shelter in me, as I have reduced you to ashes. For the fireworm searched the air and the skies, making its way from hell to paradise. And what it did was destroy it, since the embrace of what is hidden is fatal for the fine wings. Gently, you must release the fire, and so your ashes will be a fertilizer for the fertile fields. The desert, which was once jungle, only houses some eternal messengers, insects. They will show you how, they will tell you where, for they are the ones that have vibrated from the very beginning, and their song has bellowed along that of volcanoes. Tucumán, Círculo de Menires del Mollar. The serpent wraps around the throbbing ruby, its shiny skin surrounding it in a spiral from above, in a solar mandala towards the feet, in the white flower of a thousand petals, which despite its beauty hides the poison, and in its opposite, the antidote, both ends shine equally, and it is only when the ruby beats that the sacred function of both is understood. There lies the true reason and logic of forgiveness. Freeing the other from my perspective of myself is to go to the center to find the source of both polarities. Each human is a man here that must light the ruby in their hearts. And as long as poison and potion join, the heartbeat will create a network of true healing. Turn them into men here, into ancestors, into the channels who live by the heartbeat. Take this ruby and sew it at the gate so that the pulse will be the first one to arrive at the other side. Salta, los cardones. From the beginning, we have been those who guard life. From the beginning, our design was the perfect formation of the network. Both spirals of reality unify in the tissues of our structure. The first seed of water, the soma, pineapple, gem of the desert, my thorns do not mean to attack, but protect the treasure you seek. Through them I breathe, through them I drink, through them I feel. And each one of them is the aerial of my network, which star-shaped forms the pattern you seek. Within me, you will see the eyes and the mouth of the spirit the winding fabric that radiates in the rhombus shaped nodes of creation and in my flower enlightenment. Take the initial rhombus that originates the summer of creation and which in my expansion draws the network and find shelter in the nutritious internal fruit that I guard. You must understand that not everything that pricks, attacks and defends itself, but rather protects its fragile internal beauty. 
turn them into me. Make them recognize that their forms exist in the primordial pattern of creation. Make them discover their true purpose in them. Guard the sea in your blood and absorb the moisture called love. I hereby hand over to you my first rhombus, my singing, and my vision, so that you can understand that the thorns that you have created exist to protect your fragile and beautiful inner world. Honor them in you and in others, for they are the only tools you have to traverse the desert of life. Jujuy, quebrada de Humahuaca. The colors that surround you are the waves in which the gates of the earth vibrate. Around you, from the core, you can see them as an interwoven design that reveals them, the channels through which the force you need enters. In each vertex of the rhombus fabric, you will see a tooth that will be a portal in each of its aspects, and among them, the edges are the chromosomes that keep your smiles. Recognize them in their colors and smiles, and when joining them dot by dot, you will give them a sense. All colors together at night make up black. All colors during the day make up white. You must be gray. Who in the center observes the opposites. When uniting them, you will see the egg crack and give birth to the expected life in the smile of those who will recognize it. Join them in the force that will descend to each vertex of what you call my teeth and remind them that when vibrating like bees, as a spiral, the energy will enter and modify those yet to be born. Misiones, Iguazu Falls. Immerse yourself in me. Feel the force that creates the path of life. It is in me that lies the source of power that everyone seeks. But the power that lies in the center is the most difficult to find. And that which I give is nothing more than the shadow of the real one. For that power you seek does not arise from the heart, but rather from your rawest and most basic needs. Even so, there is a way to reverse the unconsciousness of power. All force is a pulsating that imposes its pressure on others. And so, just as lightning in the storm, it fights to prevail. But if you add up all the currents of power, in the midst of so much destruction, you will see a neutral point of light and serenity. The sum of all forces is equal to zero. For this reason, unite all forces without denying them, those that pulsate from each particle of your being, and then unite them all. The forces of all united will return to the clock at zero point, from where you will be able to create a new time. Use my platinum sword to open the new time, and you will find that among all the powers of the despotic and egoic personality, 
the empowerment of the coherent, and the glorious being is encrypted. Corrientes, esteros de Liberá. It is time to see the great I. Here shine the truths that will heal the world. Enter them and you will see them. Each one of you has two sides that look at reality within, thus not the truth. Cloud your sight when observing what you projected outside and get to know the reflection that you have created. Each fiber that tenses the conduits of existence is a string which, when seen, is played by the visual musician that you are. Modify the melody that you see, and in your correct observation, sing to it. One of your eyes will look at the future. The other eye looks at the past, and both, together, will contemplate the present. However, in order to do it, you must be aware of both. Each string is whoever will surround you. Make them sound in your contemplation. Unite them towards the great black hole in which they are all seen and absorbed. May the light that you project unite in the darkness of your inner world. Do not be a sun, be the space that contains it. For what is invisible to your eyes becomes visible when you stop focusing reality to see the truth. Cloud your sight. The great city of water shines below your feet. In the reflection of its light, mirror that which you cannot see in order to radiate what is. And in this way, in its great eye, it shows the custody of blood that heals the world. Its blood is your blood. Each cell that it nourishes is an eye that observes your reality. Observe yourself in each of your perspectives. Tell them to do it. Understand the space that glows in the dark. And let your blood emerge as Iru does from Ibereba. We will change your blood. We will turn its direction, and you shall reflect yourselves in the past, present, and future. When observing yourselves, make them see that they are all in every time and space. Heal the history that embraces you from within. We will be there giving you the option of seeing the truth in the face of the reality you create by believing. Formosa, Laguna Blanca. You have come here to look for something that you forgot about in all your lands, the white feather of justice. Destruction and disorder of the machines that devour thoughts have made the eagle lose its feathers. But the rod of power that I show you here shines wielding the mandate of giving order. Over the shoulders falls the weight of history that has not found balance in its progress, but only the imbalance of its weighing scale. In your heart, raise the feather that manages the lost balance. Regain the power of justice. The white heron takes flight only when finding balance in the lightness of its feathers. 
each one being a law fulfilled in coherence. Coherence is a balance, and each law is what you accept and reflect in you. The heron will only be able to fly when each of its feathers rises without the weight of the mud in them. Carry this feather and re reproduce it in thousands. Deliver each fractal to each and every person. May the law of their being weigh in their souls. Where are you fair with yourselves throughout all times? By looking at others, teach them what I have taught you. Teach them to take flight by raising their wings in balance and flying to the extent that their being finds the law. Each feather is a rule that your soul has imposed on itself. Clean them and they will fly white. There is a forgotten land here, considered a point of weight and karma. Nevertheless, in its real vision, it's the jaguar's entry to the soul. The jaguar is the soul of the earth, and on its forehead, only the feather is capable of reminding it of its purpose and balance. Because if it does not do so, it will be the snake who will show the creeping path at its feet. Drop the feather and the jaguar will attack you and the snake will devour you. By holding up the feather of justice of the being, the jaguar will show you the other world and the snake will show you the path towards divinity. Chaco, Campo del Cielo. So, bloom, harvest. Perhaps many in your lands believe that for us in other dimensions and other worlds, the most important person is the enlightened one, the connected one, the teacher, the guide, the administrator, the politician. But it's not like that. Just as in your world, the most important person for everyone is the farmer. He who knows the cycles of the seeds, the sprouts, the flowers, the fruit and the harvest also knows of said processes in all aspects of life and existence. For this reason, all of us in so many worlds have joined the best farmers in order to sow worlds. Those who have transcended food recognize that the greatest elixir is the nutrition of the being and its transcendence is its flourishing in the worlds of the universe. And so, those who vibrate in the future told us about the fruitfulness of our fruit so that we could let those in the past know how to sow the seeds. You are the sprout that must bloom. We are the sowers of worlds. In our sowing lies transcendence and the earth is a fertile field for heaven. Trees, animals, minerals and humans have been our sowing and for the first time all the seeds have managed to sprout together in the same world. 
It is time to water them so that they flourish, become the farmers of heaven on earth, get to know the cycles that go beyond all dimensions. You are the barn of the world. You have the seeds, make them sprout. Your song will water them. For these seeds only wake up with the water of frequency. We have planted the stars on earth. Now it is the task of the new farmers to make them flourish. Entre Ríos Victoria Join the eyes of the crow and you will see the truth. The great machinery stands on the antennas of the world. From where the network of invisible control is woven, you will not be able to turn the clock without the vision of the crow. Place its eyes and feather it in the quantum box of the chips. Those that reflect each implant of the silent ones in the bodies and souls of each human. Turn on the machine, make it vibrate higher. Dismantle the network of control in each radio aerial and in each aerial of faith the branches of this tree that seeks to expand are woven and tied look at the tree of waters the trunk of the piranha ends here and the branches of water open up the more expansion the further you will go and the closer to the center you will find yourselves in. Thus, help release them so that they can be free. Don't let Rome regain control of what you will create. Do not allow the greys to control the radio signals. Don't allow them to make us believe that we are free. For getting out of repression does not equal freedom. Freedom means to be fully responsible for what will take place step by step. Take this chip that I am giving you. This implant contains freedom. May it dismantle all implants in the network that prohibit it. Santa Fe, Laguna de Melincué. The deer will show you the path from within. Each pore in its bones is a book. In them, their messages are printed. Long ago you offered the 24 runes, and now I show them to you, for each one of your parts. They are the word of each aspect, 
observe. Each sound has a symbol. Each symbol constitutes an, an ideogram. Each ideogram is a thought. Thoughts are words. And words become culture. If you modify the sound, you modify culture. Around you, you see the circles of each symbol. They are the seeds of thought, the letters of each language. Each language, which the waves create in the sea of consciousness, giving it shape and focus. But many of them are distorted. Therefore, their words do not contain the entire truth. You must pronounce the original sound, the one that made everyone vibrate, the one that gives life to each letter, each thought. And when making it sound, you will hear the adjustment of such a distortion. You are mispronouncing the words. Which is the sound is not the correct question. The question is how. For you are all born from the same sound, and one is not more important than the other, but rather the vibration that expresses it. Go to silence and you will hear it. As the only original sound that traverses all others is called truth. I give this ring to you, symbol of the origin, empty inside, and the whole that contains it in an eternal circle. Through it, remind them of the sowing of the primordial seed, truth in the hearts and minds of humans. Lies have become naturalized because distortion has become naturalized entangling you in non-existent existences. Paraphrase that resounding master who once said, the truth will set you free. Because the sounds of creation share a single origin, the truth of who I am. Autonomous City of Buenos Aires Centenario Park He who has found the cure for disease and considers that for this reason he is the healer has not yet understood that the scorpion was the eternal custodian of the hidden antidote in the poison that keeps it alive. He who judges the crab for walking backwards without seeing denies the crude reality that each individual lives the same way, advancing into the unknown, just contemplating with fear the past from which he flees. In both, the truth is hidden in their backs, inevitable reason that makes it survive in the future. Each individual looks to the past with the longing of the belief that it is the very future that he is looking at, when in truth he is only moving towards the center, into which he will inevitably collapse with the others. And in such encounter, his fear and poison will exit, discovering his own cure and healing of history. Advance without the concepts of ahead or behind. The cubes that make up the matrix of your dream 
son are the boxes that keep the stories that your conscious souls deny. Take what you do not expect to find out of them, and by freeing them from their confinement, you will free your own concept of freedom. That is the human poison that must be and is a cure and healing, the freedom of the I. I give you the string of the scorpion in this little box from the network. Make everyone see that their poison is the path to their cure. That they defend the future blindly with eyes only for the past. And that upon seeing the future, there will be no other option but to defend the past. The rear guard that I protect and deny in my subconscious is the key to liberation from the belief that holds me. You will never be able to see your back with your eyes. Yet you know without the spine you will never be able to stand. Be free. May you resonate in your singing. And may the I let you be who you are. Free the healer from believing that he will heal. Free the walker from believing that he advances. And only in this way will you heal. And only in this way will you arrive. Buenos Aires, Sierra de la Ventana. If you approach the structure of realities, it will remind you of the formation of the mica mineral. Its filaments shine, shimmering in traverse layers, which in an apparent firmness do nothing more than join and destroy each other when interacting. Each fiber reflects a direction, a purpose, and that purpose itself viralizes in every physical structure, conditioning the tendency of those it is a part of. In creation, he who does not shine or face who he is becomes firm, eternal granite, and whoever shines becomes mica for he does not fear breaking before reality, being flexible in the face of change. The Mika that shines is your flashlight, and it is the seed that I give to you, for in it you will see the eternal window shine composed of constant fractals. In the hall of mirrors, its light shines like a bird's trilling and creates tetrahedral flashes that mark the sectors of the world where the pieces of purpose can be found. If you make them shine, my heartbeat will wake them up. Come close to the window in order to see them and recognize the wooden cross that limits four windows. When you get closer, you will see your eyes reflected in them. You will know that you are the present looking at the past. But in the reflection of the glass, you can see what is behind. Both are reflected in the eternal and combined to make one. Opening the window means accessing the no time. The no purpose they are all in. Our elder siblings designed a world without a purpose so that everyone could have their own. And in their search, they found the strangers to whom we promised not to return, those who take us away from me, from myself. Shine and remind them to shine for themselves. 
When you take the stones from the heart of this mountain to build the 24 temples of gestation, you will see that by placing the last one, the network of purpose will materialize, and you will be able to understand that we emptied you of purpose so that you could create your own. Bring this little Mika with you. May its brightness remind you of mine, of that of my heart, of the mountain, of the window towards the beyond. The Pampa, La Amarga Lake. Human, you have forgotten your origin. You are mad, and that is where you came from. You believed that you could get out of it. But the only thing you have achieved by denying it is to live on the surface where your reality is superficial. Submerge yourself and you will see the construct of your subconscious, the only reality that sustains the thin layer of salt that you call life. The subconscious hides your hells, and they have shaped what you are. Here you are a nutrient, absorbed by your own creations. You are the fertilizer for your creation. Here you dissolve, and your disappearance and existence is synonymous with the fruition. It is in the hells of your hidden subconscious that the keys to your lost existence are created. Those you hate and hide. We are the creators of your needs. We are the third conscious, the one that designs only what you ask for to exist. And there is only one way to do it, surviving. Your search to be and exist has projected the creation of mechanisms that require dependencies, since you flee from your only truth. Thus, we have designed two poisons that spread throughout the network. We call them faith and hope. Both were created to release responsibility over the only reality you do not exist. All need is born from the desire to give meaning to that which does not have it. All your fears and needs project a faith to the past and a hope to the future. They try to make sense of what you are seeking to be when the real answer is not to be. Emptiness. For this reason, I give you the key that unites the networks of the subconscious, so that when you turn it, you can see that the greatest fear is your only key to open the portal. San Luis, Salto de la Moneda Remember the story of the Rog? Hopeful goblins in search of gold behind the rainbow. Gold that they never found. Remember the Anunnaki, those who came to look for gold of this world and lost theirs? What unites both stories? Illusion. They are prisoners of an illusion. If you become a rock, you will let illusion control your soul. If you become an anaki, you will let illusion control your body. Both died in the search of gold and left an imprint in every one of the search for that glittering paradise that they could never find, because it does not exist. 
Gold, a condition that you only reach when you can see that the mineral is not useful unless it turns to dust and mixes in your blood. A condition that is reached when you realize that the gold at the end of the rainbow is nothing more than the union of all the colors shining together. The gears of reality are like gold coins of fine and pure gold that propel each other, radiating the colors between the mirrors. And all the colors are visible within, the only body capable of reflecting it, water, crystal of the greater body. This is why it rains. This is the reason for the clouds. This is why the waters mark your path, for they reflect the sacred body that encompasses worlds. Be water, and you will see the first gear, that which is eternally contained by the archangels in the ring of energy. Each ray projects from its heart a hierarchy that in its center creates gold, the gold that you seek to transform your world into. However, there is a paradox. There is nothing you can change, because hierarchies are generated by the light of gold, which in turn is generated by the hierarchies that radiate it. Hence, you will never escape from the relentless search to be gold. There is one way, excitement. Be excitement, become excitement. Do not be afraid to get excited, because excitement is the only thing that creates. But if you don't become excitement, then you will only be a product of other people's excitement. I give to you this drop of water that reflects all the colors. Tell them to turn into excitement. And in this drop, reflect the golden gears of your chakras in the rainbow of your being. And in the eternal reflection, the colors will shine. Santiago del Estero Ambargasta Salt Lake. Come back to the home where you belong. No longer to say what you possess, but what you are. Home is what has been designed with six walls, looking in eight directions, with a center and an axis, the cube. You have come to the salt to seek for the origin of the home, the cube that contains everything and everyone. All life has emerged from this cube, and around it, the trinity that sustains it in its essence has been designed. O3, ozone, and H2O, water, the hexagonal star of pure life that contains all dimensions. But something is missing. You have the 23 parts that make up the DNA of your being. Although the 24th has not yet been activated, and it is the reason why you are here on this path. There is a lack of silicon. Place a silicon tube in front of a sodium cube and rotate the ozone and the water. You will thus obtain the memory that awaken evolution, the record of the 23 chromosomes that have created you, and when remembering them, you will activate the one that is missing so that you can illuminate your animal experience and make it pure. The 24th is the silicon. Silicon is missing. Remember. And when 23 come together, you will see the somme, the pineal glass that reflects them all. This is the somme you will have to place in the DNA chain.
recalibrate it and make the cells replicate it. The texts are in your hands. The key is evolution. Activate the silicon of the missing race. And when you remember, you will see that whoever has achieved it will have new lines drawn on the palms of their hands. We are preparing you to be complete beings, the missing link. Remember, you must not add the parts, just unite them. And thus, you will see that chromosome 24 is the union of the 23. Extend the chain, and when the soma opens, you will see the hall of mirrors inside you. May the future and the past observer observe you, so you will know that you transform them both when remembering them. Silicon is missing, and that is what you will receive. I give you this summer formula to you, the sodium pineal, the silicon pineal, of water and ozone. Sow it, and you will evolve. Córdoba, Los Terrones. This is not the first time that we have sent you to gather 24 lands. The Council of the 24 Elders reminds you that after having been one of the scribes of the network, some of your incomplete codes were used as cracks by the flows of density. This, as you will remember well, was the reason why you were born in that world of the system of Regal for the first time. There, guarding one of the interdimensional cracks, your people witnessed the fall of the system. This led us to the great side-wheel war of the Orion portal, that which had four mirrored doors and was united by the Trinity, 11, 3, 11. You still retain pain and guilt for having abandoned many of your people in the battlefront. Tactic which led many to lose in a struggle between light and darkness. Even so, it was clear to you all that this was a distraction, and thus you appointed the farmers who would sow worlds. The seeds of the 24 worlds of the Council. Cosmic side wheel remnants that would grow together and far from the chaos. Placed in the ship of mirrors that was sown in certain worlds. 24 times bathe here the three spaces in three latitudes. 33, 0, 33. Move the machinery, and the cracks of the earth will reveal the Hall of Mirrors. You are the seeds. Make them enter the Hall, where their light will be reflected, and so they will bloom. It is for that reason that you must find yourselves, for our hope lies in you. You are the gathering of cosmic side real remnants of the Orion War. Germinate in 24 worlds, bloom, and so shall we all.
Oh, oh, oh.